Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing for you. This package is from my buddy Steve. Uh, he's a friend I talk to on Facebook a lot, and uh, he sent me a couple loaners. He sent me the Coke Tools KTC3, and now he sent me this. And I forget, he told me to reach out to him before I unbox it because of something. And now I'm remembering that as I'm unboxing it. The unboxing knife is the tactile um, bear slip joint. This has been dropped in my back pocket the last couple of days since I got it. And I freaking love this thing. Um, so it's in Magna Cut too, which is cool. My first experience with that. Probably just did something I wasn't supposed to do with a slip joint. I don't know. Still learning how to one hand the thing. It's breaking in though. It kind of has a little more spring to it than it did before. Dropping it helps too, actually. Just so you know. Yeah, I think he wanted to explain this or something. I forget. And now I'm a little worried. I think. Okay, he sent more than... Holy cow, okay. He was going to send me one knife. This. And now we have a bunch of shit. And a towel. With more stuff. What the heck is going on here? This has more in it. Okay, cool. I like stuff. So this is what he was sending for me to check out. The Mech Force knife that just came out. Uh, DLT has them. I think they still have some too. Partially made in the US. Hey, at least they're like honest about it. And then we have these. This is a slip. Those are his initials, obviously. Badass slip. Oh, it's a Lion Steel. Um, oh, yeah, that feels good. Dom? Maybe is this the Dom M390. Yeah, it's a good edge on it. Feels like man, that's kind of cool with that wood. Look at that. Is it the Dom or the Best Man? Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's totally different than this. This is well. No, this is actually really good. I was thinking it's not quite, a, it's not as snappy. But you got to remember, this has 0 0.06 stock or 0 0.6 stock or whatever. Um, and this obviously is a thicker knife. But that spring, wow. That's really good though. Got to give it to him. Fills the hand. That's what I really like about this guy. It's titanium, yet it's so thin. See, that's the problem with these bigger slip joints. So this, oh man, you can one hand that sucker close real nice. Let's try that. Yeah, cool. So here is what I was getting at. Oh, it's a clip slip. Never mind. Okay. I was going to say, does it go in that way or this way? I always fuck this up. I think this way. Okay. That's cool. I'm actually having some clip slips made, which is cool. Um... Yeah, it's pretty good. This would probably catch on a bunch of stuff for me personally. Uh, and I do not want to mess up his slip. So I may not carry this. Uh, but that's really cool. I like that. So that's a lion steel. Uh, but anyway, what I was going to say was the reason I love this the way it is. Is that it just pops in my back pocket. And it's so flipping thin that it just is at the bottom of my back pocket. It just disappears. Like it's not existent. I even forgot about it today. I had a lunch again with some friends, knife friends, and um, I totally forgot about it. <laughs> totally forgot about it, and then I had to show them later. Um, oh, I thought this was going to be the Archbishop because I actually had seen it, so I'm kind of glad it's not. Uh, interesting stuff. This is cool. I'm glad he sent this stuff. It's like he knew he knew I haven't tried any of these. This is the Ferrum Forge uh, Buck. Or the um, the buck 
or oh, yeah that's good oh my goodness that's good see i gave up on these after the uh falcon because i really thought the falcon just felt cheap <laughs> to be honest it felt really cheap um but this feels pretty good the buck or the dow which one are you now that i'm remembering the buck or the dow it just says S35EN, Ferrum Forge Design. So here's an example of something. If we Knife Co. made this knife today, this knife is a few years old. It's a mass drop labeled knife, okay? So mass drop no longer exists. They changed to drop, and I don't even know if drop exists anymore. Um, they were kind of like a pre-order company for gear and all types of stuff. And you got good pricing for pre-ordering, basically, is what happened. It was pretty cool for a while. Um, anyway, but if we Knife Co. made this knife now, it would have that stupid-ass deep carry clip on it, right? Now, this is a design by um, Ferrum Ford, so maybe not. But it would have one of these clips on it that's titanium. Like, they just keep doing that. And this knife is awesome. It would be even better probably with skips in there. These are stock bearings. You can feel a little bit of resistance. I mean, it's pretty damn good. The detent is... Yeah, it's dialed pretty well. And I like this thin handle. It's really cool. Um, yeah, that feels good. That, that choil's a little small, but it's okay. So that's the Ferrum Forge Dow or Buck. Yeah, I'm sorry that I don't know the exact name of it, but I do like this pattern. I don't remember this pattern. I know they had sort of like a circuit board pattern and a mothership pattern. Is that what it's called? Is that what this is? Man, I'm just trying to... I'm like flashing back memory-wise to that drop website. <laughs> um, so it's hard for me to remember. But yeah, you're going to start seeing some of these drop models come back as um, exclusives or OEM work or whatever, like Ferrum Forge with the Mordax was a drop knife and that is coming back as a ProTech model with Ferrum Forge collaboration or whatever, but it's going to be sold. Uh, it seems like through ProTech channels, which is awesome. Uh, and this would be a cool one too. I really like this big ass sheep's foot blade. Like it's thin and then gets fat. It's kind of like a Persian meets a sheep's foot it's really cool i mean i like the the size of it and for my uses that tip is useful being there it's up a little bit because of the sweep but uh it's pretty good i mean i think it would work pretty well this is a cool knife i really like this um all right so we got the lion steel and we got the buck dow whatever this is that um zt i've been seeing that has this sort of strap lock looking thing but it's not really a strap lock that's just the stop pin and when it's closed, see how it like it's it's off the frame, but it's always kind of contacting something, whether it's the flipper or the uh, yeah. A D10 is stout. Um, this is in 20 CV. That was in S35, by the way. The other one is in 20 CV. This is the 0990. I think I heard a story that this was developed to appease people who really liked the 099 or something. I forget uh i don't know guys this is a little bit weird i think this came out last year it's sort of an odd model for zt in my opinion uh it feels cheaper than a zt like it doesn't feel like a zt there is a slot but i doubt ow yeah that d10 is so stiff that ugh. yeah i can't even flick it it's got uh it's like five millimeter, three sixteenth brass bearings in there. Uh, the flipper tab is pokey as hell, so it's kind of annoying. Um, that was one thing I liked about this is how that flipper tab is kind of angled down, right? It's really um, comfortable because you're pulling down. You're not you're not getting hit with this kind of hook right here. Um, but the downside to that that's one of the things. I don't like about Ferrum Forge designs. Uh, the Mordax has the same thing. Because of the way that flipper tab is angled, when it is open, that hooks the other way, right? And now it kind of like locks you into this choil, which for me always feels stabby. I always feel like I'm getting poked by this here. So instead of getting a pokey flipper tab, you get a pokey choil. Um, 
So just something I've always noticed with their designs. This is just a pokey flipper tab, like literally a sharp uh, flipper tab. It is sharp. It hurts. I would probably stand that down, but then the detent is so damn stiff that it would be hard to um, engage. Like detents are hard, man. Um, like this is too strong. Some are too light. If you use the meat of your finger, like, or the tip sort of, it doesn't hurt really. I'm guessing this is titanium. Oh, hold on. Yeah. This is all steel guys. Even the clip. What is the bullet? No, I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. Interesting. Look at that detent ball hole. I think that's what that is. Is that what that is? Look at that. It's a freaking pivot. I mean, a divot. Look how deep that is. No wonder it's freaking stiff as hell. Jesus. But no, wait. It has a tiny detent ball. How does that work? Is that the detent ball hole? Hold on. Looks like it. I think it is. Look at that. But then look at the detent ball. Look how small it is. Can you see in there? Hold on. You see how small that is? Compared to the... Well, it's not that small, but it's pretty small. Anyway, you have steel liners here. That's not bad. I mean, overall, it's a pretty well-built knife. Uh, this carbon fiber feels kind of cheap, plasticky, but so I don't know about that. The action, action's not bad. It drops like that. Shake, shake, shake. I mean, you could probably put skips in here. Not my aesthetic, obviously. In the hand, it's not bad. You can reverse it, which is cool. It does look ugly on this side. For once, I'll agree with that whole sentiment. You do have a flipper choil which is kind of nice. Just get in there. Um, hmm. Interesting knife. That's the ZT-099. 0990. Sorry. Okay, let's move some stuff here. Saving this one for last, because that's why we're here. Um, so let's put that there. We're through one pouch. Let's open this pouch. This is cool. What the f Flip and okay, hold on. Ah, Steve, this is what I remembered he wanted to explain, and now I'm glad I didn't let him because, like, this is fun. Look at this thing. What in God's name is this behemoth of a knife? Look, it has a wheel in the <laughs> it says ADV. Okay. Holy shit. This is called the Savage. And it is, guys. This thing is savage. Look at this thing. I'm afraid to... This is a uh, Red Wolf EDC Kyle Lamphere knife. This is a Kyle knife right here. I think my brother... I miss my brother. DTOM Knives and Gear. My best buddy. He's been MIA with uh, more important life stuff. Um, oh, yeah. He would love this thing. He would love this thing. I'm just getting a giggle out of thinking about it. Can I flick it? Oh, yeah, baby. Give me some. That was a savage flick. Savage. Yo, Lefty just went all savage on that flick, yo. That was weak sauce. But that was right-handed. I'm a lefty. Shit. I'm a lefty. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this thing is dope. Like, I literally love it. I just said that out loud. I mean, this thing is comfortable in hand. Got that jimping. Could choke up. Look at this edge, man. That thing's sharp as fuck, too. Look at that combo edge. Just... This thing is a behemoth. Look at that frag. The shine on it. This thing is awesome. Dude, Steve, you spoiled me with this one, bro. Come on, give me a little. Like, give me something. Come on. 
There we go. So you gotta you gotta light switch it. Can't push button this bitch. I can a little bit. What do we got? S35. Perfectly acceptable. 28 2001, it says. I don't know what that means. 28 2001. Oh, maybe it's number 28. So you can carry this tip up, tip down. Oh, what? Only. It's so weird. It's a three way reversible clip. So weird. But I could flip this over and carry this lefty. That's so cool. I won't because. Um, then you can't get the flick going because I'm on that clip there. Although I don't know if that would lock it up. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Shit, this thing's cool. I can't wait to show Kyle this thing. This thing's savage, baby. Uh, we didn't cut anything with anything, so let's, let's do some cutting. I'm just going to do like one cut per knife so I don't have to clean up everything. Yes. Yes, it's sharp. All right, Savage, sharp. 0990, that detent's growing on me. Very sharp. It's growing on me, man. If you just grip it and rip it, it feels good. It doesn't hurt, but if you kind of, like, milk it, then it hurts. You got to just go for it, you know what I mean? And I think some skips in here would be good, but I don't know. It's just so ugly. We got a little pivot lash there. Uh, best man slash Dom, whatever this is. I like that blade shape too. That was me. Yep, sharp. M390. Man, slip joints are growing on me, guys. Big time. Uh, the Buck slash Dow. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry, I think I caught the the end of the choil there or whatever all right everything's sharp so far steve keeps his ship sharp let me put that i love these adv pouches they're so nice all right we got three more guys or two more i don't know what's in here so let's see two more oh yes i've been meaning to check this out dude steve man you are the man dude i was expecting one knife Yes, I've been wanting to check one of these out for a while. This is the uh, Vehement Knives. Oh, my goodness. This is the Vehement Knives. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. Has a name. I mean, obviously, it has a name, Kev. Um, mm, I know the name. It's on the tip of my tongue. Not really. Uh, Vehement Knives. Growler? No. That's the name of my knife. <laughs> Dumbass. Um, not my knife, but Colin and my knife. Oh. Vehement knives. <sighs> mongrel. Mongrel? Is that right? The mongrel? I don't know. I think I'm right. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was interested in this. I almost picked one up, but it being Medford, and I noticed the fuller was not usable. So I did not get one. <clears throat> Can I get in there? Yeah, you're not getting in there. Now this detent pretty weak but it's more the flipper tab than the detent i think like it's got some detent if you give it a flick like if you use that flipper tab as intended it comes out pretty good you know what i'm saying um yeah that feels really good in hand this eh not so much can't really choke up on it one thing i don't like about knives that made no sense. One aspect of knives, whatever. One feature I don't like, whatever, Kev. Design thing I don't like is when a handle is a lot thicker than the blade. Does that make sense? So you see how tall this handle is? It's like this tall, but yet the blade is only like this tall. Why didn't they just make the blade equal to the handle? I think it would have looked way sexier that way, right? Also, this lock bar, it's very... Um, weird sort of it like you don't even notice that you're slipping it over like it's not stiff or anything it's pretty good it's just um hard to explain you don't feel anything moving in there now if you use it right handed and let it drop man look at that i mean that action's pretty good right there we're dead centered no play i mean action wise i gotta give them credit here they uh they did a great job on the action this feels pretty good actually yeah 
Um, I would have dialed that D10 up a bit, but it's Medford. Um, pretty good in hand. I've heard this is super thick behind the edge from Stasa. I mean, it's sharp, but that doesn't mean it's thin. Does it have a ha flat grind? Yeah, flat grind. It's got a trailing point blade. Not my favorite because I like to get down and into labels and stuff. Can't do that. I, I like the colors. This clip looks horrendous, but it probably works okay. Um, yeah, works pretty good. You don't have a ton sticking out. I mean, a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like a Medford, right? That's one thing you got to... You gotta give them credit. They definitely stand apart when it comes to their knives. Although this looks a little Medford-y too, because it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, this flipper tab is a total pecker, dude. Um, and look how freaking sharp it is right there. It is catching my finger, like hooked onto my finger. <laughs> look at that. Uh, but you can grab it at the very tip and pull it. Um, so she said, or you can wrap your finger around it. I mean, you can do whatever you want. One thing that a lot of people don't like is, for some reason, Medford does this, and apparently they do it on other people's designs. Now, I love the garage stop pins. That's really cool, right? But what they do is you see the tang sticking out. So the tang is, like, sticking out of the frame a little bit. And then when it's locked up, because that pivot is so close to the top of the frame there, the detent ball hole and half of it, the track is out of the frame, which can, you know, you can get debris and shit in there. For example, here's a random knife. Um, this does not have that. The detent ball is inside the frame there, but you can see the pivot is much farther away from the top of the scale. It's, you know, you got a good gap here where here you have nothing almost. That pivot is right at the top of the frame. I don't know why they do that. Well, I guess I do. I think they do it for blade to handle ratio. So I think you get maximum blade to handle ratio because your pivot is so high up. Um, I don't think it helps with action or anything, but they did a great job on this knife. I got to say 3V, CPM 3V. Can you see it? CPM 3V cap. There you go. Uh, yeah, I actually like this mongrel. That's what I'm going with for now. Vehement nice mongrel. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm just, this is all off the top of my head, guys. So I try, okay? I try. We got another one. Is it a Tucson? I'll tell you right now, it's a Tucson. No soul. Wong. It's a Wong design. Uh, we got D2, which sucks, but it's okay. He definitely uses it, that's for sure. Jeez. Um, good action. Oh, it's got a flipper too. Shitty detent. Not shitty, just it's not dialed for the flipper tab, I should say. But it works once you know. Um, but that means you got a hole. You can reverse like it's a frame lock, so left-handed. It works because I can get down low. What is the deal with this hole, man? Yep, lock bar pressure is real. I'm feeling a lot of movement. Yeah, there's blade play. There's a lot of pivot lash. Um, centering is way off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, obviously, that's just... I could probably tighten it down real quick. Then we can see how that action is after. Oh yeah, that was pretty loose. And now we have no action. Yep, but it's tight. Do we have any? Not as much. Doesn't feel like any actually. Still comes out pretty good, but you're shaking it down. And now you really feel that detent the way it's meant to be. It sucks uh, with the flipper tab. Yeah, now we're close to centered. Uh, I can back off a touch. Man, this detent ball ramp, see, some companies do it, and it just doesn't make sense. You didn't need one here. It's just a little too floppy. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, this is a Tucson. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's really comfortable in hand. Got to give it that. See how sharp it is. Oh, yeah, hold on. Very sharp. 
Uh, nice belt satin. These thumb studs are ugly as sin. I know Backpack B would love this thing. Um, yeah, not a fan. I don't know what these holes are and the slots and stuff. But definitely interesting. Okay, so that's the Tucson whatever. Uh, and then we have the Mech Force. So this is the M1. Comes with stuff. I don't know what the hell that is. It's like tape for your... Remove the scale inlay. Oh! No way! That's so cool! So, you can remove the scales to clean it or whatever, and then they provide 3M double-sided tape, I guess, to put it back on. That's pretty... That's unique, that's for sure. Uh, Mech Force, here's a card. This is serial number 20, I guess. Let's see. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but Mech Force is known for making flashlights. Um, that's their thing. Oh, it's on like an angle here. It's the light. Titanium, M390, carbon fiber, ball bearing, 12, 17, 21. So it's pretty new. Mech Force. Yeah. I believe they're actually possibly a local company to me. I'm not sure. I thought I saw that on their website, but I saw a couple addresses. So let's put this in here and put that up there. Okay. So here we go. We have the Mech Force. I believe it's called the M1. Um, again, all of this is off the top of my head. Yes. M1 folding knife, carbon fiber, marble inlays. I got to say this carbon fiber is absolutely gorgeous in person. It looks way better in person. Clip feels a little flimsy and you have those relief cuts in between it, which let's see. It seems to work. Okay. Um, flipper tab. Oh, yeah, it feels pretty good. Okay. Uh, in hand, it's, you know, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. You have a uh, sort of flipper tab thingy here. Not great. Not like a... When I say not great, I mean you can't use it as a, um, a choil. Uh, you do have a frame lock, obviously. And we have an insert. It's M390. A little bit of stick there. Action... Okay. Good detail. I mean, it's stout. Uh, Mech Force logo. M390. You have a bead blast uh, stone wash on the blade. It's a flat grind. Almost feels concave, but it's not. Pretty thick stock, I gotta say. Uh, let's try this again. Yeah, a little stick, but it's more like just a tactile thing and it's already going away so i think it's just from transport transport kev from transit um detent's pretty stiff uh, the, the flick is going to be a tough cookie here left-handed it might not happen at all right-handed oh my god oh yeah you're not I mean, because of how close you are to the pivot, which is kind of cool, guys. You can't see the pivot. Um, because of how close you are to the pivot, it's going to require a lot of force to get this guy out. Oh, and I'm also pushing on the lock bar as I get in the slot. See that? So you can't get it. So left-handed would be your best bet, but you have to be able to somehow get off the lock bar. Yeah, I can't, I can't even do it. Let's try this. No, and then the angle, it ends up making it sharp when you go vertical and it hurts. So this uh, fuller slash hole is not used for flicking at all. So it's a flipper. It's a flipper only. And it's a flat flipper. You see that? Very minimal. And then you have some jimping here. Left-handed. Yeah, it works pretty well. So you can hear that click. So it's sticking a little bit, but I'm guessing that's just oil or something. And now when I put pressure down as a lefty, I'm squeezing that lock bar and it's going to click. Watch. Yeah. 
That's because of me, though. Right-handed, you're probably not going to do that, are you? Yeah. So, the lock bar moves very easily over. You can watch as I push. So, that's not great. And because of the ergonomics, I just did it again. My finger, you just touch the lock bar and it clicks over. So, if that bothers you at all, you know, this might not be the knife for you. Uh, it does seem to have a detent ball ramp, maybe. I don't know. Hold on, let's see where it breaks. Detent is pretty late. You see there's where it breaks. You have all that travel before you hit it. So you got to get past that. Am I past it? Just got past it. So left-handed, you just go and see. That's still not there. It is past it. So it's not bad. I mean, the flipper is minimal enough that it drops down, right, and out of the way, and then it catches it. So, uh, yeah, it's an interesting knife. I got to say, this frame lock just feels very loosey-goosey, sort of. Um, is there an over-travel? There is an over-travel, so that's good, but it just feels really sort of flimsy. You know what this feels like? And I, people may not like this, but... It, it feels like a Tucson. <laughs> it has a Tucson build quality to it, to me, where a lot of people are like, yeah, titanium M390, yeah, right? Um, and yes, Tucson does do a pretty good job, but they also tend to have these very flimsy uh, lock bars. And I don't know how to explain it. I don't mean like it's thin, because you can tell it's not. It's just the way, maybe the relief cuts, there's just too much flexibility in there. It just feels, I hesitate to use the word janky, but it does. It feels janky. And so does this, because of this. You know, this detent ball ramp is just really janky. Um, the action's a bit herky-jerky on this, if that, if that makes sense, sort of. Um, it's hard to explain it, but this one doesn't feel herky-jerky. Um, it's very smooth. I mean, you just hear the detent ball riding a little bit. And uh, it's, you know, not drop shut, but it's close. Very, very smooth on the shake. You have to be off that lock bar, though, because that lock bar really doesn't like um, pressure when you're flicking. Ugh. I feel detent play, detent lash. Yeah, a little bit of detent lash. See how everything's moving before I flick it. Uh, just really minor stuff here, guys. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think this is their first night from Mech Force for 300 bucks. I think it might have been 400 Uh Partially USA made. I don't know what that means. Um, it's not a bad first offering, that's for sure. Uh, definitely got potential here. You got lots of milling. It feels good in hand in terms of weight and everything. Um, it is pretty comfortable, actually, ergonomically. Again, I'm just feeling things kind of shift as I squeeze, though. That lock bar is just really flying over. I don't like that, if you can't tell. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty impressed. D10 is dialed, that's for sure. I'd rather have it be a little stiffer than not, and uh, that slot is not meant to be used. I just don't think... Ah, just can't get it. Um, yeah, so that's the Mech Force M1. The Tucson have no clue. No soul, just kidding. The Mongrel Knives, or Vehement Knives Mongrel, I believe. The uh, Ferrum Forge Mass Drop We Made Buck. I'm going with Buck on that, but it could be the Dow. The ADV... Savage. I love this knife. This is my favorite knife out of the bunch, guys. Um, the uh, Lion Steel Dom Best Man. Don't know. And the ZT0990. How about that? Dude, thank you, my brother. That's an amazing... I was expecting this one knife. And he sent one, two, three, four, five, six more. That's incredible. Thank you, man. Really cool. I'm going to check these out. And I'll hit you guys with first impressions, maybe uh, reviews for sure. Uh, I kind of went over them pretty pretty much, so first impressions. Uh, yeah, my favorite ones are probably this guy right here, the Vehement Mongrel, even though I know I'd want a stronger detent personally. 
Um, it does work well, and I really like the build. I just like Medford's sort of finishing and their builds. I know uh, a lot of people don't, but like the slim middies and stuff, just have always liked how they look. Um, the Savage, man, this thing is an absolute savage. It just looks so cool. Uh, this is, yeah, this thing's awesome. The Savage, baby. So I like those two a lot. Uh, the slip joint is really cool. Very well made, you can tell. Walk and talk is very good in my very limited slip joint opinion. And that wood, man, whatever that is. The only weird thing is on one side it looks glossy. It says sheen. And then on one side it kind of doesn't. It looks more matte. But I think that's just the lighting. Uh, it's really cool. What is that? Burl wood, you think? Uh, I don't know woods very well. But, um, yeah, that's a cool lion steel. So, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you, Steve. You are the man. And I will catch you guys later.